Now that was easy. Today I want to teach you how to upload a video to the learning management system called Schoology. Uh, and then make that video available to your students. So the first step, of course, is that you need to go to the Schoology website and you need to log in. So this, of course, assumes that you are using this particular learning management system. So I'm going to log in. There are a number of ways to do this, but I'll show you a way that seems to work pretty well. I like the idea of adding it to the Resources tab. So if you go to Resources and go to Personal, then you can add files in your resources. So one option when you click on Add Resources is you can add a file. So I'm going to add a file, and this type of file I'm going to look for is a video file. By the way, you can add lots of different types of files, but I'm going to click on Attach Files and I'm going to look for a video, the video that I have created that I want my students to make. And so I've searched for MP4 videos. So I'm going to use a video here, um, I use one here, uh, Flipped Class with Aaron Sams, um, and I'm going to upload this video. Now if you watch right here, there's gonna be a line here as the video uploads right here. So we're gonna wait for this to upload, and then I'm going to simply click the Add button down here. Now that video is available for me to use at any time in my class. So I like putting it sort of in the resources because if I have different classes, then I can add it to lots of different classes as opposed to like adding it to just a specific class. And now you can see here I've got some options. Um, I can edit details. So if I tap on edit details, we can add a title. Um, I can say uh, uh, how to flip a class. So this is the title of the video. That's not a bad idea to do. And then I'm gonna tap add. And it's gonna, here's the video right here, how to flip a class, there's the video. Now the video is only now available in sort of the generic resources page. I wanna make it available to a particular class. So I'm gonna tap here onto courses. I'm gonna to go to one of my courses, I actually only have one, flipped learning section one, and I wanna now add it as an assignment for my students. So I'm gonna to want to add an assignment, so I'm gonna click the button add assignment, upper right. Now the options pop when you have this. Give the, title, the name, let's go, so how, to flip a class. And there's a lot of options here. You can make it graded, ungraded, numeric, a lot of options down here. You can set a due date. You know, it's due on such and such a date. A lot of things, sign points, a lot of things you understand, but we need to add the video. So I'm gonna click on the resource tab. And now here is this video called how to flip a class. I click attach. And then if I wanna fill all that stuff out, I certainly can, but now I can create it. So when you open the assignment, you're gonna have this how to flip a class. Now right now, the, the video is being converted to a viewable format, so it may take a couple of minutes for this to occur. If you're impatient and need to see it right away, then you just come back a little bit later and you'll have a very cool option. So now I'm back to the assignments menu. Let's click and see if it's been, uh, it's been rendered, the video. So if I go to how to flip a class, I click here. A new option has just appeared and it's the view option. So I like the idea you can do view, and now here comes the video, and it's encoded, and a student can watch it. We can click play, and there's the video. So one other thing I think I might encourage you to think about doing is that you may want to spend some time on the assignment and edit it. So over in the upper right-hand corner, we can edit this, and maybe you want to give some instructions. That's one thing I didn't do. I think what I would say is, you know, uh, you know please you know, watch the video and take notes, make sure you fill out, full out, fill out the notes sheet. I don't know, something like that. It's important that you provide some interactivity for the videos. And now when we look at the assignment, it's gonna have some short instructions right there that I think are pretty powerful. Now that was easy.